Friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. What is up, my dudes? Um, so, I haven't done a build video in a while. We have been very, very busy at LM. And uh, Sweet Benny Boy has taken over most of the building and integration. So, I have not been doing as much building lately, but he is actually take he has actually taken a gig. Uh, so I am building this prototype. So, I because I'm a glutton for punishment, am just deciding again to do what I do best and build uh, oh, use too much EQ on things and also build power products for the internet to judge. Um, so today's power product for the internet to judge is the new LM Tour Systems DSK PD. Uh, so we have a lot of things on our DSK series. Uh, DSK just stands for desk. So if there's anything that it is like courtesy power or any of that kind of thing that goes in your desk, we call it DSK. Um, PD is just power distro. Uh, this is something that I have in mind specifically for video fly packs. Um, so oftentimes we either have a panel that goes into a drawer or there's something that gets recessed into the work surface kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, we're always just sort of looking for a way to, uh, to give, to give any type of power. So I came up with this box. Um, so one of the interesting things about it is it has two flavors of ears. Um, so if you want to mount it to, you know, if you want to recess it into a surface like this or mount it into like a drawer, you can. Uh, if you want to table mount it, it has this ear, so you can do this with it. Uh, and then I also made uh, rack ears for it. So if you want to rack mount it for whatever reason, it will. it is a 3U box. Um, so I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to sell this thing yet. Um, our video fly pack really, our standard one on, on lmcasesonline.com really needs a, a refresh. Um, so I was just thinking that I would build this thing and, and, and put it in there because that's going to be our new product. Um, so I, you know, and just to tease the world, I'm building it on my personal YouTube channel. Um, but again, I think the ability to rack mount this, honestly, I think no one's going to use these, but it's interesting. So I just made them and it will be a... Uh, it will just be a, an, an optional add-on, uh, but I think I will include these. So here's what's in this box. Um, metalworking, I know a lot of you guys have questions on metalworking, and I just kind of shirk the topic. I don't really want to, it's just kind of a pain in the butt um, to get down there because, or to really talk about it, because I really don't want to be like a metalworking guy. Um, all of the stuff that we do is um, really designed for our own installs. And if I were to just make you guys metalworking, like what we would have to charge to make it worth, worth our while for that is probably not worth it to most of you, um, which is the only reason it's just, you know, I just don't want to, you know, have that, com that conversation in the YouTube comment section. And something about the comment section is there's a lot of people who just say, how much? where do I buy? It's like, I, I don't know that you're super serious. Like if you do, if you are actually interested in metalworking, I am happy to chat with you guys about it. Um, you know, we are in the business of building custom things. Uh, predominantly the metalworking side, the LM Tour System side of things are, are for our own integrations. But if you want a rack panel, I'll build you one. Uh, send me an email, billy at uh, billylaguardia.com or you can use my government email, billy at lmcases.com. Uh, happy to chat with you, but just, you know, it's be serious. I, I'm happy to talk to you guys about anything that you want. Just just be serious about it. It's like you know, if you're gonna just write cost or something in in the comments section, I'm not gonna respond to you. That's just that's stupid. I I know you're not serious. You're just I'm gonna tell you the cost, and then you're gonna be like, oh my god, Billy, it's so expensive. Blah blah blah. So anyway, um, here's what's going on with this box. Sorry to get all 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 dark on you there. Um, what we try to do or what I try to do with, with the LM stuff is make it generic so that we can repurpose it. Um, this box can kind of be outfitted with whatever you need it to be. Um, so the way that we do that is it has a D-punch on the bottom. It has a D-punch on the top. It has two uh, Decora punches, 
four snap and Edison's and then two D punches. So one of the things that I like to do is I like these little white boxes that are right here. And basically what that does is it is it gives you a very verbose way to say uh, this can be configured either per show or per build. Uh, there's a nice way of just putting a P-Touch label there. If you want to use a thin line Sharpie and ruin your box forever, you can do that also, but it just sort of gives you that. Um, what I'm probably going to do with this prototype one is use power cons. Uh, so I'm going to do a power con in on the bottom, uh, power con out, power con out, and then we'll do two of our famous uh, decoras that just have a USB-A and a USB-C, although I fear that USB-A is, is becoming more and more obsolete. But, you know, I know that everybody's phones are pretty much USB-C now, but there are certain things that are USB-A, uh, just little, little chargers and things like that, that, you know, maybe not be a phone, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know that I'm fully ready to, to go USB-C. That being said, we do keep the dual USB-C outlets in stock. They're just very expensive. If you get them in white, they're like 25 bucks. If you get them in black, they're like 55 bucks. I think we're the only people that are, are uh, requiring black uh, dual USB-C outlets. So anyway, I'm going to stop yakking here. Or I guess while I'm yakking, I'll take this thing apart so we can start wiring it. So, you know, in the world of, of this kind of stuff, a, a D-punch is very generic. I'm sure you're asking, Billy, why aren't you using a true one on this? Uh, the only reason that I'm not is that a true one punch is bigger. Um, the, the true one inlet is 15 16 a standard D punch. The outlet is an inch and an eighth. So if I made a true one outlet on here, it would have to be a true one outlet all the time. It could never be interchangeable with anything else. And the cool thing with this is because there are D punches everywhere, you can feed it however you want. So, you know, I, I know what you're thinking. It's like a lot of times we have a courtesy panel where this needs to be the power input and then the rest of them can be outputs. Uh, the other thing with a Decora punch is you can use a keystone. So if you need to have, say, an HDMI or you need to have, say, you know, a bunch of network jacks or anything like that, you can do that in here. You don't definitely, you don't necessarily have to use that for power. So staying in the Decora format, uh, I'm generally a fan of. Um, I, I, I like that a lot. And, and same thing with the regular D. So, you know, I know that, that, that PowerCon is becoming obsolete. Uh, I do like to use the, uh, a PowerCon uh, output um, in the surface of a lot of panels, A, because it's, it's a smaller density, so where I could fit one true one in here, I can fit two power cons. Uh, the other thing is um, it, we can use our little quad boxes and our little pendants. Um, so I have build videos on both of those. If you want to check out the quad box, uh, just check, check the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Really convenient way of adding more outlets to a work surface. Um, you can also do a, a pendant. Um, which is which I you know conveniently and lovingly call the world's most expensive cell phone charger. I did a build video on that. Check the upper right hand corner of your screen. You can check that out. Um, but yeah, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna start yakking. I'm gonna stop yakking and let's uh, let's get building on this.
All right, comment section, what do you think? So I let me just thwart this at the beginning here. I know what you guys are going to tell me. There's too many Wagos in there, all right? I'm sure you've already typed it, and, and people who are the keyboard warriors haven't even made it to the end of the video, but that's I know that that's coming. There isn't a better way that I can think of other than adding a bus bar into this to 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 circumvent that like there just there just isn't like you know if you're doing a regular duplex outlet that makes a lot of sense you know uh or i should say if you're doing uh well, hold on there's one on the desk here if you're doing a regular duplex outlet you have four right you can you can malt this stuff a little bit better with these guys you can only have uh two per so this is an individual output this is an individual this is an individual i have two and then I have the power con. So it's like, there really isn't a better way to do it other than putting a bus bar in there. And I always sort of worry about putting a bus bar in. Oh, look, there's a bus bar on the work surface, you know, because it's it's just kind of kind of cheesy. It's like, you know, you have to use these insulated ones, um, you know, just as far as, as, you know, keeping it separate. But it just sort of worries me that all of the hots are bonded to the chassis. And, you know, I, if a screw comes loose and all that stuff, I just, I'm hedging my bets with Wagos. I'm sure that you guys are going to tell me what I'm doing wrong and what can do better. That's what it is. Um, anyway, I, I think this box is kind of cool. Um, I definitely think that, you know, you have to understand our application for it. Uh, in my mind, this is going into video fly packs mounted against the sidewall like this. So, you know, you're feeding it from the bottom. You have your outputs to do uh, different things. You know, obviously, I'm, I, I like the, uh, the fourplex uh, to power con and our little pendant things that we make. Um, you know, that's the intention of the, uh, the power cons on there is for that kind of stuff. Um, looking at this thing now, it definitely looks like a stringer box, which could be pretty cool. Um, I should probably make some type of like raised handle faceplate thing for the sides. Um, that's probably going to be a cool thing to make it a stringer. But again, it's like, do I think that anybody's going to buy the rack ears? Probably not. You know, it's like, uh, just, just being honest, probably not. But anyway, uh, I, you know, I, no one's roasted the crap out of me lately. So I figured I'd build an electrical thing and put it on YouTube. So anyway, thank you for watching. There's a bunch of links on the bottom. Uh, if you do want, um, do you want to buy this or, or, you know, uh, it, any of the any of the things that we have on there you can just check that link out on the bottom but uh, again thank you for watching appreciate it uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one bye